Hey guys, it's us, and today we're gonna be exploring some of Kuala Lumpur's top attractions. Another day, another adventure. Let's get it, let's go. Alright guys, so we are now here at our first attraction which is Batu Caves. So this attraction is probably the most popular attraction here in Kuala Lumpur. Batu Caves is a limestone hill with a series of beautiful caves. So let's go check it out and explore, let's go. You might have seen in the beginning that we were in a car with a bunch of people and that is because we're actually on a tour. So we booked this tour through Kluk and if you guys want to do the same and visit Kuala Lumpur's top attractions, you can book through Kluk and use our code janetann 5 off to save money. Alright, so we're basically going up these 272 steps, but before that, Anne actually had to get covered up. If you're wearing shorts or anything above the knee, then you need to buy a scarf, which is yeah. like 15 RM. Yeah. The steps are so tiny. What? The steps are so tiny. You My just have big feet. <laughs> Man, this place is so beautiful. Alright, we're well, basically here, but man, all these steps making me hungry. <laughs> you can go through the first attraction. I know, this is the first attraction. I'm already starving. <laughs> Ten minutes later, we finally made it to the top. It wasn't that bad of a hike. Yeah. <laughs> we're now at the entry of the cave, and it is massive. Mm -hmm. Wow. A lot of people here, though, obviously. Yeah. It's so crazy, we're like inside a limestone rock. Yeah. So up here they actually sell some water and other souvenirs. So if yeah. you get thirsty from that hike up, then you can purchase water, which we'll probably do right now. All right, so we are now inside the cave. This is not just a cave. There's actually a few temples here. That's one of the main reason why Anne had to cover up. Mm -hmm. It's so stunning in here. Babe, what do you think of the cave? It's beautiful in here. It looks so enchanting too with the sun rays coming in the cave. Yeah. It's so pretty. <gasps> we see monkeys too. Oh, yeah. What the heck? There's so many of them. Apparently there's three caves in this big cave, so yeah, it's pretty massive. But lots of monkeys here. Our tour guide told us not to actually approach them because they can get pretty aggressive. And apparently don't look them in the eye and smile because once they see your teeth to the monkeys, that means aggression. When they're aggressive, they show their teeth, right? Or when they're angry. So when you show them your teeth, they think you're aggressive towards them. So don't smile at the monkeys, guys. Definitely visit Batu Caves, guys, because mm -hmm. it is so gorgeous. Nothing there's, we've ever seen before. Yeah, there's so much to see in here. Honestly, coming here, I didn't even know it was a temple. I thought it was just like a cave, a cave? that you could go inside and see like monkeys. Yeah. But there's actually like quite a bit to see in here, which yeah. is really nice. All right, guys, so we're done with Batu Caves. On to the next attraction. Let's go! Welcome to Iskus Bati. Over here is a free hand drawn body. Usually the artist will start with white piece of material, either silk or cotton and silk, between imagination. Far off in back here to separate the colors. Then that is a normal brush to fill in the colors or the by hand. 
Oh, here you go, I know, play. Our next stop is a batik shop. So what batik is shop? batik? It's basically like scarves and they're showing us how it's made. So everything is handmade and yeah. it's 100% silk. And the designs are hand-drawn. Yeah. Which is crazy. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like their little factory here, which is really cool to see. It's 100% silk. And whatever it is, you can use the simple top, just triangle. Maybe today you can use the flower. Next day, you can fix the plain one. Yeah. This is the Elsa. Yeah. Wait for the dress. But is there. Can I wear that also? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can wear that. <laughs> or you can take the center or this one. Yes. And then you can cover that. Right? They even have like pants and skirts. Yeah. That's so wow. pretty. And they have skirts too. That is a nice design. Alright guys, so an hour later, we finally made it to our next destination, which is the French village. Yes, so this place is located in Colmar. We're actually an hour away from the city. Yeah, it took quite a bit to get here, yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're really high up as well mm -hmm. because we were like driving up the mountains and yeah. the roads were so windy for a good like 20 to 30 minutes, I yeah. think. Yeah, the girl that was beside Anne was literally about to puke, but <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing she just wasn't used to it. Mm -hmm. But anyways, this is the attraction that Anne and I are excited for. Let's go check this French village out. Let's go. It's like a castle. Yeah, they even have a French theme resort here, which is right behind us actually. Oh, it's like a castle! Yeah, literally! <laughs> so since it is 1 p.m., our tour guide told us there's a few local restaurants and also some Mediterranean food. Mm -hmm. We're starving right now, so probably gonna get lunch here as well. Babe, it's so pretty! I know. Legit like a village yeah. in the middle of the mountains, which yeah. is so cool. Definitely worth the one hour drive. Yeah. Babe, it's like a totally different world. It's like a movie scene. And they have like actual restaurants. They have Krispy Kreme here. Babe. So cute in here. I feel like I'm in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this village is so cool. They literally have everything. They even have a 7-Eleven. They have a French bakery. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to feel so much like Europe. Yeah, is this foreshadowing? Yeah, I know. Ooh, <laughs> it's cool. It's a totally different world. Yeah. Alright, so we got the goods. $8 freaking caramel. Cappuccino, what is this? Caramel, iced <laughs> caramel no, macchiato. Eight dollars, god damn. But you know Here. what? I need my coffee right now. All right, after this, I won't have Starbucks for a while. Till tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so we got some tokens. It's uh, two ringgits for one token. All right, so we're gonna play this game right here. So 10 tokens, five bags. So what we have to do is hit those cups with these bags. We get five bags to knock out all those cups over there. Damn, that's hard. That was actually quite hard. All right, we're trying to get up this tower to see the view of this beautiful village. It is now 
1.30 p.m. and we're starving, so we're gonna get lunch. So the restaurant of choice is called La Flamme. It's very uh, pleasing to the eye, so this is what we're gonna go with. And it honestly looks delicious. Can we please get the buffalo chicken wings? For pizza, can we get the pepperoni and feta cheese? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And one more Yes. Yeah. Thank you. For this French village has been so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so excited to go to Europe. I oh damn, we just told that was you. A secret. That was a secret, but I guess you we're going to Europe guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So our pizza is here and it's a thin crust. How we like it. Yeah. Damn, a lot of cheese though, babe. Are you, can you take this? You're lactose. We're about to see. Oh my. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. Are we in Europe? Mm -hmm. Look at this, look at this. This is what I love. Pretty damn good, man. I got some wings. Mm -hmm. Boy. To be honest, we kind of ordered a little too much. We got some fries, we got some mushroom soup. This was so good. This was so yummy. I'm gonna kill it. But yeah, we're just gonna eat. So far, the pizza is really yummy. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna eat right now because in 15 minutes, our tour guide's gonna be picking us up. We got 10 minutes. To we got 10 this. minutes to eat this, so we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> All right, so literally five minutes away from the French village, we are currently at our last stop of today's tour, which is... A rabbit farm. <laughs> a rabbit farm. It's legit a rabbit farm. There's so many rabbits in front of us. Other small animals as well, like they have little... What, what is this? Hamsters? Yeah. It's a baby hamster. Baby! A I've had a hedgehog before. I really want one again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go pet some rabbits. Let's go pet some rabbits. Let's go pet some rabbits. I don't think I've ever pet a rabbit before. So. Mm -hmm. Wow, so cute. Oh, that guy left. Here, who wants a carrot? You want a carrot? <laughs> this don't like me out here. Be careful, behind you. We going, bud. <laughs> 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 All right guys, so we are actually back in our hotel now, mm -hmm. done with the tour. The tour is only around five to six hours, so mm -hmm. it doesn't take up the entire day. It was awesome. And if you book through Kluk, you get free transportation. Yeah. He picks you up from your hotel and he drops you off. It was really a good day. convenient, yeah. Which one did you enjoy the most? I really like the French village. Yeah, no, I think that made the tour worth mm -hmm. it because of the French village. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Batu Caves. Yes, those yeah. were my two favorites. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. As always, don't forget to like like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on social media for daily updates. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next Malaysia vlog. Peace!